WTFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 2 p.m. update. Uh, currently, we've got the uh, Dow trading up 53 points, two tenths of a percent of the upside. The same for the S&P, which is the equivalent of seven points. The Nasdaq 100 is up three quarters of a percent, trading out at 11,208. It's up 82 points out there. Let's start with the S&P and uh, work our way into the NDX 100. As we take a look at the S&P cash indice out here, trading out at 33.35. Price continues to rise with less relative energy that only becomes a problem if we see a bearish reversal candle you're in buyer number seven of a td9 count that price looks like it wants to target 33.89.15 that's its td9 count breakdown level you're at 33.35 looks like about another 50 points higher inside the s&p 500 if we take a look at the dow the dow right now still has not broken through its key level of resistance that was created by its td9 count top out here that price level that the dow would have to close above would be 27.580 to negate that pattern nonetheless price still may approach that area that price target area as price is above what i like to refer to as stevie's green line that folks means that if when price is above it conditions are bullish let's take a look at the uh, ndx 100 what do we know of the ndx 100 price continues to rise uh, rise does so with less relative energy bar number seven wave number uh, seven as well as we speak that's letter g on my screen we really need to see a bearish reversal candle in order to confirm a potential uh, top out there you need to see a price close below 11100 right now that is stevie's green line so so far all conditions are bullish let's go take a look at the russell 2000 what do we have for the russell 2000 well here we've got price moving higher doing less relative energy but no bearish reversal candle just because the candle is red folks that doesn't mean it's a bearish reversal candle you want to understand your p's and q's that means you're bullish and bearish reversal candles out here uh, the russell 2000 um, it has negated its Gertley sell pattern. So we have to wait for the Russell 2000 to give us the next sell signal. That's going to require, well, this stage here, close below Stevie's green line. That's currently 1519, and it's going to require a bearish reversal candle. No idea whether that's going to happen today. But as we speak right now, I'd say probably not. And the reason is because it's all about the NQ. If we take a look at the NQ here real quickly, I'll pull over the 30 minute time frame chart. Assuming I can do it while my system, come on, give me that chart. Here's what we're taking a look at. The NQ has traded above the top of its TD nine count pattern. Strong momentum move underway, at least in the short term time frame. Oh, top in sight right now. Take care folks. Stay tuned for uh, the